painting a scenario where in the future we will have fewer shoppers in store. They're going to be very focused on what they want. They will spend a limited amount of time in the store. How do you encourage those customers to visit, to dwell, and to keep coming back? You know, we're already seeing a much higher conversion rate in the stores that are already open because what we're seeing is that shoppers are going in for a very you know, deliberate purpose. They're seeing something that they are very interested in and they want to go buy it or at least, you know, they've narrowed down their, their choices. So I think, um, you know, going back to what I was saying earlier about why, why would a consumer go into the store at the moment? It's because they want to either touch and feel something. It's, either, it's because they want to talk to a salesperson, make, com make comparisons or because it's easy for them to pick up or, or put down or, you know, or return. We'll need to figure out how um, consumers um, will want to shop in a very safe, efficient, but also uh, still somewhat pleasurable environment. And we're seeing some changes in you know, approaches already globally. For example, some of you may see uh, Best Buy as they start to open up stores in the US. Um, they're, they're arranging shopping by appointment. So you can arrange appointment on, online via chat or through an app. Um, and that's really uh, an interesting development that you could take a lot further into, you know, we've had personalized shopping, for example, in the clothing industry, uh, part of retail for a long, long time. That could easily um, be portable into the uh, TCG industry. So what does a personal shopper or that personalized shopping experience look like where you have fewer, better trained staff we were able to deal with smaller number of customers coming in for a very deliberate purpose, but um, increasing that conversion rate um, when they do come in.